Today you're going to learn how to connect different objects with lines and how to animate these lines. Let me delete the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes, close this, and let's convert this cube to a line. So let's create a new profile, delete this, shift A, and search for a curved line. And let's connect it here. So this will be our line to connect different objects. So now let's create two objects. For example, a cube. And let's create a UV sphere. So to connect this line to these two different objects, it's really easy. Because this curved line, we have the start position and the end position. So we only need the information of the position of this object and the other. So let's drag this cube information and connect the location, the position, to the start curve line. So now if we select our line, we can see that the start is connected to the position. And to connect the other side, just drag the sphere. Let me make this smaller and connect it to the location. So now we have both sides connected to different objects. Let's add some mesh to this curve. So curve to mesh. And let's connect a curve cycle. Let's make it smaller, something like that. As you can see, it's really easy because a curved line has two points, two vectors, so it's really easy to connect the start to an object and the end to another. And now, if we move these objects, you can see the line always is connected. And if you want to animate this line, what you have to do is to add here a trim curve and just animate this. If you want the other direction, you can animate the star. For example, let's create a keyframe in zero. Insert keyframe. And let's go, for example, something like that. And move it to the end. Insert keyframe. To see the keyframes, always remember to select the line and select this node. Let me make this shorter. And if we go to the beginning and press play, we have this animation. Now, how we do to connect different objects with lines? We have to repeat this pattern. For example, what we are going to do is to create another object. I'm going to create a cone. And now I want a line connecting these two. So we have to repeat this. Let me add some information here. This is the line one. Let's copy this with Shift D. And what we have to do is to put a joint geometry and connect it here. But we need to change these objects. So to make it faster, just open this, click here, and select the first one, will be this one. And the second one will be this one. So now we have three objects connected. This line is animated, so you can delete it. Or if you want to animate this one and later this one, what you can do is to copy this. If you leave it like that with OK frames, you will only have this animation. If you want to make this first and later this one, what I will do is basically to start this animation when this arrive. So I will select this line and go to the end, begin here, and now select this one and start the animation. Insert keyframe, go something like that, and go to the end. Insert keyframe, And now we have this animation. You can make it faster if you want. And if you want to connect more objects, you can use the same pattern. Or if you want to close this, what I will do is actually duplicate this and change the objects. So let's select the cone. And the end, let's select the cube. And let's connect this. If not, we cannot see anything. And now we have everything connected. As you can see, we connected three objects. And you can make the same animation. So 
So this is the setup, really easy. And this is the animation. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.